Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to take a minute to show you how you can transfer your custom compressor settings from one computer to another. So uh, many of us have uh, different workflows that we're using and we uh, come up with some nice settings for uh, different things that we want and so we have this whole category of custom settings uh, for our different workflows. And if you wanted to, to move those to another computer, um, here's the process for doing that. We're going to close compressor. Um, those settings are actually saved in the preference folder. So uh, here's a little trick. If we go up to the Go menu and hold down the Option key before we click on Go, it will reveal the Library folder. If I let go of Option, you see it disappears. Uh, if we click on the Library, we can go to Application Support, and then there's a folder in there for Compressor. Uh, and inside there is all of our settings. These are our uh, custom settings that we want to move over. So I'm just going to copy those and I'm going to paste them over to the um, desktop. I have actually already done that so I'm not going to uh, do that step. They're sitting over here in the bottom corner settings um, and I have them. Now it's probably a good thing to uh, maybe back these up somewhere else so you have them and they don't get uh, changed. I've actually uploaded my settings folder to my Google Docs account so they're kind of backed up there and it's easy to transfer or copy them to a workstation if I'm uh, somewhere else. And to get these settings back into the other computer you just download them or transfer them on a thumb drive and just reverse. Now all you need to do is go to the the other computer, the other workstation and reverse the process. So we're, Again we're going to hold down the option key, go to the Go menu select library, application support, compressor, and we're just going to copy um, those setting files that we we downloaded or transferred from another workstation and we're going to pop them into that settings folder um, and let those copy over. Uh, close that out, verify that they are uh, indeed copied over and we're going to close out there and if we open up compressor now on the new workstation, we should have uh, those nine settings uh, in the customs folder. There's actually ten there. Uh, and there they are. So it's that simple uh, to transfer it. Uh, sometimes it's not as intuitive as you might think, but uh, once you can find that uh, folder where all the settings are saved, it's, uh, it's a fairly easy process.